Can you believe that it's snowing in the summer season of Minnesota? Well, it's actually technically spring, but it's mid-May. Fishing opener is today. Who wants to go fishing? Not me. <laughs> We're going to a garage sale in Minnesota in mid-May. It's fishing opener today. And <laughs> it's snowing. Can you believe this? I can't believe it. This is so 2020. It's a beautiful day for fishing, don't you think, dear? You bet. <laughs> you betcha. Yeah, for sure. We broke our dock axle this putting in the docks this year. Don't slip and fall into the water. <laughs> Kayaks are ready. Ready to go. There's oh little footprints, yeah. What kind of creature? I'm thinking a bird. There was big bass out here yesterday. Listen to the snow crunch under our feet. Doesn't that sound cold? Right here, this is where it's gonna happen. We're gonna catch some fishies. We're not gonna go out in the boat today. Gee, I wonder why. I don't have my docks done. We were out there last week, and uh, my son-in-law and I were, and Karen were all working on getting this ready, and I ended up getting almost hypothermic. And I had a wetsuit on. See, it is peaceful out here. I hear a jet. That's a rare sound lately, this year. It's really rare to hear a jet. Must be a cargo jet. Yeah. Okay, you Tubalonians, Minnesota fishing opener in a snowstorm. Here we go, first cast. Beautiful day to fish. Who knows, the fish might be biting. Nobody else is out here. It's totally empty. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> you can't even see the other side of the lake. So it's fishing opener. It's supposed to be spring, almost summer. And it's snowing out. And Karen's making the best of it. <laughs> she's making, getting some great, she's got her Lund Boats jacket on. We're supposed to be out with the fishing line in the water right now. And we are not, we are not sponsored by Lund Boats. By not anyone. at all. Hey, Lund Boats. Yeah. If you want to sponsor me, you can. Yeah, Lund Boats could sponsor us if they send a boat over to us. <laughs> anyway, um, we're we're in a beautiful campground near our lake home, and it we're making the best of it. We want to be fishing. I woke up grumbling. But we're out driving around just enjoying the beautiful, beautiful view. And we went to one garage sale. There'd probably be a few more if there wasn't some virus going around the world. But there was one garage sale in the entire region. And we went, I bought some things for my computer, um, cases to, to carry the equipment. But there it is, you guys. Beautiful Minnesota in the middle of May. And we're making the best of it. That's all you can do. I, I'm rocking my COVID haircut. It hasn't been cut. <laughs> it's longer than usual. I had a nice scruff the other day. I'll show you a picture of that. Kind of looked good, but Karen said it makes me look old. And uh, yeah, we're making the best of the life situation. It has not been easy to make the best of things, but I guess I'm finally getting into a mindset where it's so 2020 that we just, all you can do is make the best of it. I mean, you can do other things. You can make the worst of it or feel sorry for yourself, but I'm choosing, finally choosing to make the best of what I got. And I was looking forward to a nice, almost summery day because it was great yesterday. It was, we were outside in shorts working. You can see I got tan. Last weekend, I got sunburned. My dog got sunburned. And the rest of my family, we were all together, out on the dock, getting things ready for summer, working very hard. And it was a beautiful weekend. We spent time with most of our daughters. 
and their men in their life. And uh, well, I guess Alex wasn't there. He had he he went back to work, so he's thankful for that. And here we are, uh, making the best of things. It was uh, almost summer last weekend, and now winter has made a return. Welcome to Minnesota. You want to come camping? How you doing over there, David? I'm good. <laughs> Turn to see you. <laughs> this is a social distancing breakfast for Mother's Day. We come together to honor mothers in our lives and for the abundance of love that they give us. So here we are. I'm seeing David through the woods. <laughs> through the flowers. And we can't be together with all of our children just because of what's going on in the world, but we still love our mothers and we wish all each of you a happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day.